Private contractors on the ground in Iraq outnumber our troops now, and each man is paid more than our, than our men and women in uniform. Outfits like Academy, who used to be called Z, X E, and before that were called Blackwater, enjoy a huge, undisclosed portion of our de defense spending, yet ho hold none of the accountability and are set to no standards like our military. Privateers wanting to cash in often die without anyone hearing about it because private companies are not obligated to report deaths of their employees. Would you curb our use of private companies for military use? Andre? I do my best to eliminate private companies for military use. Uh, there, there's a lot going on that people just don't understand. And these companies are utilizing war for their profit. They're, they're racketeering in war. And basically, you're seeing, and, and I know I experienced it when I came out of the military, uh, even when I was in the military. I saw guys that came in for one month, made enough money uh, doing the same job that I did to buy a, a BMW M3 series in Germany and pay cash for it in one month. That, to me, is absurd. When they're doing the exact same job our men and women in uniform are doing, um, that is, that's something that we have to curtail. We have to get rid of the private sector in war. That's why, that's why our nation is going into so many wars, along with corporations uh, and their greed. We have companies that are making so much money off of the wars that we participate in. Like, for example, Halliburton and all their, uh, all their subsidiaries. Halliburton, Halliburton Northrop Grumman, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, General Dynamics. Uh, DRS Power and Control Technologies, all of these companies are contractors and they specialize in war. Right. Okay, Harry, would you talk about private privateers? And yes, as I mentioned, the data show that a, a typical private uh, contractor soldier is making $1,500 a day. So you can see why Andre's right. You can buy a BMW pretty quick at that kind of pay, plus expenses, I might add. Uh, and these are people that are just loyal to the money. They're just mercenaries. High paid mercenaries is all they are compared to our soldiers who are doing the, the bulk of the work and they're lucky if they earn $50 a day. It's one of the reasons the Defense Department budget is so bloated and overblown. And one of the first things you would have in a democratic society like I'm proposing, where the majority of citizens are in charge, is there would be no secrecy in the Defense Department. There would need no black ops programs. We would want to know where all the money's going and who it's going to and why, and approve it. And if the majority of citizens don't approve it, they don't spend it. It's just that simple. And that's a 26-word amendment to the Constitution that we could have passed in a constitutional convention before the next presidential election if we could get this on Facebook and, and the national news so the American public could realize we don't, we're not only not fighting for democracy, we are not a democracy and never have been. Yeah. We have always been a republic okay. from day one of our country. James? Uh, Jay, would you repeat that question a little bit? Yeah, we're talking about uh, the privateers, the companies like Academy, uh, Blackwater, uh, even even either. even Halliburton and and some of the other ones that Andre mentioned that are uh, charging mm -hmm. us a fortune, or ra rather, our taxpayer dollar is going toward these companies. Right. We need to stop all that. That's all evil. It's just it shows you how the military-industrial complex. See, I don't mind countries having CIA or intelligence groups or anything like this. You gotta know what the hell's going on in life. And but when we get to the point of evil, meaning we know better, but we do the opposite, and we create Blackwater groups, we we create groups. There's so many groups that I, I assure you and everybody that you would never find out who they all are. It's so intertwined. It's like a carpet weaving. It's everywhere in our society, in our military, in our Senate, in our courts, everywhere. And unfortunately, they're using everybody. And we need to stop all this because who are these people? It's like the Gestapo. It's like the mafia. <laughs> it's like mafia. Beyond the mafia. It really mafia, is. Are we it's the Gestapo okay. in a modern sense. And, yeah. and this is what I call evil. They know better, but they do the opposite. 
and there's it's so interwoven through our society and okay. all nations that this, this is extremely how can you live? We're going to die, obviously. 